The only person I had to find out information from was my husband. And he kept saying he didn't do it. And you believed him? I did believe him. So I saw the pain in her face and I knew that she was not lying. She finally said it was my husband. You think about that child all the time? All the time. I think about all the children all the time. You felt this complete betrayal of trust? I was totally broken. I, I felt like the, the blood had just drained out of my body because, again, this is my husband. I just, I trusted him fully. He was supposed to help me protect these children. He always told me he was my protector. So when I heard this, I just felt like, I just felt like my world had just. Hey, how you guys doing? We have a case today, and it's a sad case. All right, DJ, stop the beat. Before I start, I'm going to ask you guys to please like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you see the couple right in front of our faces. This is a husband and a wife. I repeat, a husband and a wife, okay? So they have a business together, daycare taking care of kids the woman which is the wife she'll take care of the daycare center that's what she owns and she got her husband which is an ex-police cop yeah an ex-police cop he retired from the police uh, force and he was the bus driver driving the little kids here and there on a bus okay and he did security so he always had access to the kids now she said that her husband uh, was an honest man that she thought she thought he was honest he talked about protecting her and he was a christian man and he was talking about you know these people touching on kids is wrong like she thought this was a good perfect man but uh-uh uh-uh no 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 he was a snake in the grass do you hear what i'm saying a lot of y'all are married to snakes and devils and and plain and hiding in his plain sight as your husband now they have a video footage it's been making their rounds uh when she found out that her husband was doing the unthinkable to the kids that uh she was taking care of she went down to where he was working which was at a, a security event at a hotel he was staying in a hotel room and he does security at that event right right so she busts up in a room she confronts him and they get into an argument and she has a pow pow one in the neck and one uh somewhere else i believe and uh, so she has to do four months in prison uh for you know pound him in the neck and somewhere else and she is pretty much telling her story so i want you guys to listen up and i want to know what you guys think about this uh this happens very often especially in the black community i'm sure in other communities but i know it happens often in the black community and often it is covered up you have so many uncles and fathers that are touching their nieces in their own chillings okay and let's not forget about the pastors, but y'all don't want to talk about that. Okay, so uh, let's play here. Make sure you guys like, share, and comment. And do you guys think this story would make a good live? Okay, let's go. Hi, how are you? Fine. Bruce Lachian. The judge says Shantari Weems took the law into her own hands. But she says she snapped and some supporters see her as a kind of avenging angel, seeking justice for horrible crimes against children. I was emotional. Her backers were stunned last month when a judge slapped the 50-year-old with a four-year sentence, twice what even prosecutors recommended in a plea deal. Despite my surroundings, I'm doing okay. I have a lot of supporters and um, People who uplift me and help me survive. Prosecutors have charged her husband, James Weems, with 33 counts of and child He's awaiting trial 
and his lawyer is declining to comment. Don't let them sweep this under the rug. The man is still alive. and Right from the start, the internet was filled with support for Weems under the hashtag Free Shantari. She shot her husband, a retired cop, twice in his room at what was then DC's Mandarin Oriental Hotel, where he was staying while providing security at the Urban League convention. The judge said her attack on her husband was premeditated, not spontaneous, that police had told her days earlier that they were investigating him and they'd shut down her little kid's castle in Baltimore County while they looked into the allegations of child. The only person I had to find out information from was my husband. And he kept saying he didn't do it. And you believed him? I did believe him. But then, she says, the mother of one of the children, a child she'd loved and cared for for years, said they had to talk. So I saw the pain in her face, and I knew that she was not lying. She finally said it was my husband. You think about that child all the time? All the time. I think about all the children all the time. You felt this complete betrayal of trust? I was totally broken. I, I felt like the, the blood had just drained out of my body because, again, this is my husband. I just, I trusted him fully. He was supposed to help me protect these children. He always told me he was my protector. So when I heard this, I just felt like, I just felt like my world had just ended. She took her first drink in 20 years and according to prosecutors, texted her business partner, I'm going to kill him and then myself. She drove to the hotel and angrily confronted him. I snapped. I'm not a violent person. Tomorrow night, Sean Terry Weems takes us through the shooting. What was she thinking? The first shot was in the neck. Yes. And then you shot him in the leg. Yes. How could she open fire on her own husband, the man she had loved and trusted more than anyone? At the DC Department of Corrections, Bruce Lashan. WUSA 9. Wow, wow, talk about it. How do y'all feel about this? How do y'all feel about it? Um, mm -mm -mm. She didn't even realize that her husband was the devil. Your husbands be the devil. Husbands are the devil. They so demonic to do that to kids, you know? And to think about, he would be hugged up on her every night. Well, I don't even know if they were active in the bedroom, considering he don't even want her. Considering this was just a cover-up. You might as well just call him a beard. Because um, he don't want no woman. He want kids. Yeah, 33 counts. Yeah, he want kids. This woman was just a cover-up. So, you know, that is what's going on out here. And um, some people may say, well, how didn't a woman, how didn't you know? You didn't have no discernment. You wasn't spiritually aligned. Child, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if other parents have warned her and said this before, or this is just all breaking news to her, or it was just one situation. How many kids uh, did he do this to? Was it one? Was it two? Was it three? I don't know. They're not telling everything. All we know is 33 counts. But people say that 33 counts could have been with one child, you know. So I don't know. But I do want to know what do you guys think about this? Do you think whatever they're telling us is all to the story? Or do you think it's more to be revealed? Um, are we seeing everything in front of our face or is it more to be revealed? Uh, that is the question. Is there more to be revealed? All right, so I'm going to let you guys go. I just wanted to bring this story to you guys. It was making this rounds, and I wanted it to make it round here. Okay, I believe she's 50 years old, and I believe he's 57.